Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're going to be taking a first look at a game that came out a couple of weeks ago, uh, and that game is a, I guess an action RPG, sort of? Uh, it's a game that it puts you in the shoes of a spy, I don't know of who, uh, in the Russian Navy, uh, where you're basically spying on, I believe, a super cavitating torpedo and trying to get intelligence on it. And as a result, you end up on the Russian uh, ballistic, or sorry, Russian guided missile submarine, uh, the Kursk K-141, uh, in the year 2000. And you're on board the ship when it has its catastrophic explosion, uh, which results in the entire crew dying. I'm not sure how the game portrays this. I'm not sure if there's another uh, mode or another you know, thing it tries to suggest occurred. Um, but essentially, the, this is is a real-life submarine that on August 12th of 2000 sank uh, and resulted eventually, not immediately, but eventually resulted in the death of all 118 people on board. Uh, there were two explosions. There was one that was about 220 to around 500 pounds worth of TNT. It was some hydrogen peroxide fuel for the torpedo that sort of seeped through a, a bad weld and exploded. Uh, and then there was a second explosion about two minutes later, uh, which resulted in the uh, kind of collapsing of, of the three compartments in the front of the submarine uh, and the, the death of the majority of the crew. A small number of crew members escaped to the uh, rear of the boat and survived there for a short while, uh, but eventually a, a flash fire ended up killing all of them. Um, the, the Russian Navy had some opportunities to rescue the crew. Uh, the British were nearby, and the Norwegians as well both offered to send submersibles down to rescue the surviving crew members, and they were kind of rebuffed. Uh, and then, again, the Russians were unable to get them out, and uh, they all died. So it's a bit of a gruesome tale in, in the real world. I remember I was in Ireland at the time with my family. I was 13, and uh, this is one of those... I, you know, I didn't pay a lot of attention to world politics before, uh, before that. But this was this was a big deal, and it was all over the news over there. And um, you know, it was a big deal back home in Russia. And uh, I'm curious how this game will portray that because I think even to this day, it's a bit of a sensitive subject in Russia. Um, but why don't we take a look? Uh, the Kursk was a Oscar II class uh, guided missile submarine. So basically a submarine with a lot of cruise missiles or anti-ship missiles, uh, not a ballistic missile sub. It was nuclear powered, I believe, uh, and uh, it was relatively new. It was commissioned, I think, in 1990. So, uh, you know, it was commissioned after... Well, actually, no, maybe it was laid down in 1990. It was commissioned after uh, the fall of the Soviet Union. Anyway, guys, that's enough of the backstory. Why don't we go ahead and jump in? So we're going to go ahead and do a new game. Now, I tried streaming this the other day, uh, but it actually kept crashing on me like two minutes in. I played again last night just to make sure it would work. I played for like 20 minutes, not even, and uh, it did seem to be working. So hopefully this new patch that, that recently came out um, will uh, will cause it to, to run well. So this is the Kursk, obviously, sailing here, and then you've got the rest of the Russian fleet in the background. It sunk during a, a, a naval exercise. So we go ahead and hit new game. We're gonna go ahead and use the existing slot, override it. Nice little image here, I think of the underside of the Oscar. On the loading screen. The K-141 Kursk, a Russian nuclear submarine sank on August 12, 2000 during a naval exercise in the Barents Sea. There were 118 people on board. 20 of the, 23 of them survived the first stage of the disaster and took refuge in the last compartment of the ship, waiting for a rescue that never came. All right. The game is inspired by real-life events. The main character's plot is fictional. If a man has found something he will die for, hasn't found something he will die for, he isn't fit to live. Martin Luther King. Interesting quote from Martin Luther King Jr. here in a... Uh, game about a Russian submarine. Uh, this is two minutes before the first explosion. The first explosion takes place at 11.28. Okay. So, so it looks like my character is 
I don't know if he's under arrest or he's just being locked in um, in this compartment. So um, let's see here. There's a letter. I don't know if this is me. Okay. Natasha. All right. All right. So a letter basically of someone. Try and open the door here and it won't open. So obviously he's locked me in this room. I'm uh, I guess I'm under arrest. Again, remember, your character is a spy, so keep that in mind. I don't I don't know who we're a spy for, but we are a spy. The game is developed by I think it's called it's called Ju, Jujubi, uh, and they're also the developers of the grand strategy game Realpolitik, uh, which basically is a almost like a 4X or like a global strategy game, kind of like Superpower, but a little bit uh, newer. Can control any of the countries in in the world and uh, kind of struggle for uh, for what do you call it? Global supremacy, if you will, in sort of a modern day balance of power type uh, game. So now we're playing this little handheld game, just killing time, waiting for whatever the next thing is. I guess I'm supposed to try and sink these enemy or whatever. It's a stupid little handheld game. Oh no! Well, that's bad. The smoke can't be good. Get out of here. Get out. Oh, no, the door's still locked. Well. I mean, we know what happens to the ship in real life, so. Alright, well... Let's make sure we don't suffocate. So we'll pick up the uh, nail gun, and then I guess this cardboard. We'll see about putting it up over the grate, where the smoke is coming in. We gotta press E to staple gun, so no press F for respects. Press E to staple gun. All right. Well, how do I open the door? Well, what's that? Is that a pipe? Maybe I can use the pipe to wedge the door open. It's awfully quiet out there. I mean, we hear the alert siren going on, but you'd think there'd be, like, people running all over or something. Okay. I don't know if we lost the pipe or what. Run for what? We'll try to open it together. There's no time to lose, comrade. All right. Ah! Okay. Well, who knows what's going to happen? I don't. But we're a, no longer on the submarine by the looks of this loading screen. It looks like Moscow. I do like the art in this game. Alright, so we're in Moscow three days earlier, August 9th in the morning. Oh. Oh boy, just one drink. So, Sarah left her shoes here? Um, why am I looking at cigarettes? Is there any significance to the cigarettes? Doesn't look like it. Okay, there's a guy on a balcony, Russian flags. Oh, that's a lot of sunlight. All right. So the city streets down that away. I think I hear someone in the shower. Huh. All right, what about the uh, TV remote? What can we do with that? Ooh, naval exercises to techno beat. 
Undoubtedly, the eyes of foreign journalists alike will be closely watching our flagship submarine Kursk, the pride of our fleet. President Putin. Alright, my phone is ringing. Let us answer the phone. Telephone Simulator 2018. Uh, yes. Seriously. We're James Bond, of course. <laughs> Very spy James Bond-like. Apparently he went out for drinks, came back with a woman, she's in the shower. Five eight five eight. Two three three was it? Goodbye. Good luck. I wonder if they're gonna give a nefarious plot to the actual explosion on the submarine. Floppy drive. What does that say? Flash out three twenty twenty. So what am I supposed to do with the damn thing? Okay. I guess I wasn't really paying attention to what he was telling me. Oh, here it is. Oh, I didn't need to remember. I wrote that thing down thinking maybe I'd need to remember it. Public display of affection. Or like the old Palm Pilot days. Uh, okay, is this like a briefcase laptop or something? Oh yeah. 1999. Juju Tech. All right, loading up. Butterfly NT. User 01. I'm sure that would be the government password and it would just be atrocious. Okay. CD drive. There wasn't a CD, it was just a PDF. Am I supposed to do something? Ooh, it's the Kisk. Your task is to infiltrate K-141, Kursk submarine, and gather information about the Schweckel cavita super cavitating torpedo. We're also interested in information about any secret technologies being being used aboard the ship. Your PDA provides personal mission control center, contains a list of current tasks, notes, character descriptions, and more. The PDA is regularly updated, so you should always have it within reach. We have added various upgrades as well as the device is equipped. Um, very modules. Steal data. Take pictures. Okay. Don't fall into unauthorized hands. The crew won't suspect anything, so your cover should be fine. It's up to you to try. Uh, it's up to you whether they can guess your true identity. Try not to leave any traces and avoid suspicion. One more thing, we're expecting spy submarines in the area. This could affect plans of the Russian Navy in an unexpected way. Act reasonably and adjust to the situation. Okay. What's the movie file? Ooh, the Schwickel. Revolutionary. The VA-111 Shkaval, which... Or Shkaval, okay. That should be good. As a result, the torpedo is able to reach speeds of over 150 knots. The Jesus. Forces, the Russians already have a prototype capable of exceeding that. The torpedo uses a rocket engine, has short range, and is loud, which makes it easily detectable. But it makes up for these faults with its sheer speed, which allows it to destroy an enemy using kinetic energy alone. Well, hell. Thanks to this technology, 
Russia is ahead of the rest of the world by 20 years. Um. Our informants claim that China is very interested in purchasing the Ishkabals. This threatens the balance of power in the world, especially in the Pacific. The arrest of Edmund Pope, whom Russia has accused of spying for the CIA, has led us to realize that the era of buying intelligence through bribery is over. The largest maneuvers of the Northern Fleet since the fall of communism begin tomorrow. The nuclear submarine Kursk, the Russian Navy's crown jewel, will be taking part in the exercises. According to our sources, it will have new generation Shkval torpedoes on board. Our organization has developed a plan to get you on that vessel without raising suspicion. Due to the importance of these maneuvers, several people from outside have been delegated to be on board and observe the exercises from there. We've been able to get to one of these people, and so you'll assume their identity. This is a person not known by the rest, so no one should suspect a thing. Your task will be to earn the trust of the Kursk's crew and get as much information about the secret technologies present on board as possible. The Shkval torpedoes are the highest priority. They should be in the second compartment at the bow of the sub. The bow of the sub? More like the bow. All right, well, whatever. Target destination, town entrance, town admissions. Okay. All right, well, interesting concept, at least, I guess. I'm assuming this should come out. Maybe we are a victim of our own uh, own side. I guess we're a CIA agent, but I'm guessing someone sabotages the boat to destroy the prototype torpedoes on board? That would be my hunch. But we'll see. One day later... I'm not going to try and pronounce the name of that city, because I don't know it. Alright. So I'm riding in a car. There's a driver. And, yeah. Try to maintain asphalt in this climate. It's even worse here. Alright. Huh. Let's just throw a little bit of tar on. Alright, well, I guess that's okay. Gotta love the uh, music there in the background. I wonder if I'm gonna get a copyright strike from that. Guest from Moscow. Here we go. Alright. Why am I sitting in the back like this? It's got like a weird seat, like I've got my... Huh. Dagestan. Makes the talks want to stay inside. I wish there was a convertible so I could see outside. That would be kind of interesting. Instead, I've just got this really narrow view of the world. Как 
I got to say, this is sort of an interesting concept behind this story. This is really the early days of Putin uh, as president, and or at least, you know, obviously 18 years ago. And, um, you know, sort of the first, the maneuvers are sort of the first coming out of the Soviet Navy since uh, the uh, fall of the Soviet Union. So, I mean, it's it's kind of interesting to sort of see from uh, a Russian point of view, at least that's what this story is trying to tell, how this, what that would mean. Um... Build careers, think get married. I don't know if you you probably noticed um all the different developer names or whatever that are showing here like as we drive by them basically the pre-credits the pride of the fleet it's a really well done scene gave you a lot of background uh kind of a sense of ambiance really let you feel the universe that you're stepping into All right, so we're getting out. Oh. Senior Warrant Officer Vasily. It's nice to finally see you. I'm from Africa. Delegated him in my garden. I'm stuck with him for the duration of the cruise. Oh, I'll shoot. Roll call now, a moment to look around, but don't take too long, the captain doesn't tolerate people being late. Just remember to take a survival kit from the truck. See all of it from the crane? Okay. I think I want to get a PD or a survival kit from the truck. Which I'm assuming is over here. Let's run. Let's jog to the truck. Okay. Well, let's get in the back of the truck. Or not. What are we doing? Getting our PD out? No, we're getting up. All right. Cool. All right, so we're supposed to take the survival kit. Can we look inside this box? What's in here? It looks like a freaking stinger or something like that, like a surfaced air missile box. Uh, what am I doing? The hell am I supposed to do? Like, the game doesn't tell me at all. I'm confused. Uh oh. Game over. My cover's been blown. It doesn't even tell me how the hell I'm supposed to use the damn PDA. Well, that was dumb. I was pressing all sorts of buttons and nothing was happening. Oh, lovely. And I think the game just crashed on me. Yep. Uh, all right, all right. Let's see if we can get back in. All right, everybody, that's going to do it with my first look at Kursk, a new sort of action RPG adventure type game, which puts you in the shoes of a spy on board the Kursk, 
uh, which is a Russian submarine which sank in the er, in the early 2000s, in the year 2000. We haven't gotten to the sub yet. Uh, we've been kind of going through the very beginning scenes of the game. This is intended as a first look. And what I will say is it's very apparent the game is obviously not very stable still. So that is a, a challenge that I think is, is still uh, something the developers are working on. I know I... Uh, had struggles my first time trying to play, and then here today again, another crash. The good news is this was taken from a live stream from just the other day, so I do have more footage. We did get back into the game. We were able to get it to run, but clearly it's not super stable yet. There are some interesting scenes in the next episode, so why don't, uh, if this is something you're interested in, I'll post the second part of the stream here in a day or two where we actually get to the submarine and you can kind of see what the game has to offer. Um, in some ways, it feels very much like an exploratory game where you're just kind of exploring around a Russian submarine and, and there's a lot of sort of looking for objects and artifacts and less, uh, at least not a ton so far of actual uh, sort of intense gameplay. But it's it's been kind of interesting and pretty cool, actually, to look around parts of the sub. Although, in addition to being buggy, the game doesn't feel very well optimized yet either. With that being said, that is a topic for another time. So I'll go ahead and sign off here today. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. And until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.